Many in Japan will be glad to see the end of 2011 after a massive earthquake struck off the country's coast in March, sending a wall of water miles inland. Over 15,000 were killed, while nearly 40,000 are still listed as missing. Total damage bill, 10 trillion yen, or $122 billion. In July, in Norway, a crazed gunman set off a car bomb outside the Prime Minister's office, but this was only a decoy. With authorities scrambling to respond, he went on a shooting spree at a political youth camp, killing 77 people. In May, the world's most wanted man, Osama bin Laden, who orchestrated the 9-11 attacks, was finally found and killed by US Special Forces. After a decade on the run, the CIA tracked bin Laden to a compound in Pakistan, which was raided by two dozen Navy SEALs. His body was buried at sea. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. The world's attention turned to the UK in August for all the wrong reasons. What began as a protest against the police shooting ended in mass riots across the country as people looted stores, attacked police, and burned down buildings. Five people died, thousands faced criminal charges, and the damage bill ran into the hundreds of millions. Come out for money. And come out for money. Yeah, it's yeah. not anger, you've just yeah, come out for money. Because the police nick you for stupid things, mate. And now this is our payback because they can't do nothing to us today. The world's most secretive nation, North Korea, lost its dear leader with the death of dictator Kim Jong il. Far from being released from his grip, though, North Koreans were shown to be weeping in the streets as his son and successor, Kim Jong-un, prepared to take his place.